we've got a good one. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Whiskey Shed. My name is John McGrath and I'm an Irish man in his workshop drinking whiskey, sharing that experience with you guys. Now, it just happens to be Christmas Eve when I'm making this video and I have the perfect whiskey for Christmas. That is Redbreast. Now, I started my channel reviewing Redbreast 12 and now I'm going to re review Redbreast Cask Strength. This is a very nice whiskey indeed. So as always, let's jump in with a few stories and a little bit of history about Redbreast. Okay, so a brief bit of history about Redbreast. Where does it come from and what is it? Well, it originated with W.A. Gilby's, which were a London company. They founded in 1857 and they were wine merchants. They set up another branch in Dublin on O'Connell Street in 1861. And like most wine merchants, they would import fortified wines such as port and sherry and the like, and they would have casks left over. So they did what Mitchell and Sons did in Dublin at the time. They went to Jameson and got this lid from them, filled their ex-sherry and port casks and aged their own whiskey. So they became whiskey bonders. Now, Redbreast, the first use of the term Redbreast was by W.A. Gilby's chairman he was an avid bird watcher and red breast when you put it in the glass and hold it up to the light you can see it has a lovely reddish hue to it so he nicknamed it red breast after the robin red breast that was in around 1912 and later on it became known then permanently as red breast it was originally called john jameson and sons castle jj liqueur i believe and eventually it got the name red breast now W.A. Gilby's stopped producing Redbreast and Irish distillers bought out the name Redbreast and then they began to produce it again and it was relaunched back on the market in 1991. So you couldn't actually get your hands on this for a very long time until it was re-released in 1991. It is a pure pot still Irish whiskey so it's the quintessential Irish style. It is a mash of malted and unmalted barley pure pot still Irish whiskey and it's aged in Oloroso sherry casks. And it's Christmas time, like I said, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, and some people refer to Redbreast as Christmas in a bottle. It is really like Christmas cake. It is absolutely fantastic. And this is Redbreast 12 dialed up a notch. So let's jump in and nose and taste this whiskey. Okay, so let's get some of this cask strength Redbreast in the glass. <laughs> Okay, so let's get nosing and tasting this whiskey. Now, this is very, very nice whiskey. I'm a massive fan of Redbreast 12, and it, now Redbreast comes, I think, in 11 different variations. Some of it is extremely expensive. It's kind of way outside my price range. This retails in Ireland for in around 85 to 90 euros a bottle, so it's not cheap. Redbreast, you will get for 60 euros in Ireland, or in around 60 dollars, I believe, in the United States. That is an exceptional whiskey for 60 euros. I think you would find it very, very hard to beat a whiskey from anywhere the world for 60 euros that is as nice as Redbreast and that's just my humble opinion for what it's worth. This is this just dialed up a notch and it is absolutely stunning and on the nose so straight away on the nose it's uh, all those dried fruits, uh, figs, you get cinnamon, honey, um, it's really like Christmas cake like I said about this but it is really intense. This is an intense powerful whiskey. It is bottle of cast strength. It's 55.8% ABV and uh, but there's no ethanol, there's no alcohol born from this. It is so smooth and so nice and you can see, love, you can see that lovely reddish uh, hue when you hold it up to the light. But you're on the nose, it is intense fruits with honey, cinnamon, figs, uh, raisins, um, that deep dark fruit cake type of vibe. And you get a lovely, powerful kind of woody note, a strong kind of barrel note from it. That's really, really nice. It's like walking into a real old woodworking shop. It's an absolutely beautiful smell. This is a deep, intense, rich, complex whiskey. And it is, like I say, it's Redbreast 12 on steroids. It's just everything dialed up. Sometimes when you uh, get a cask strength version of a whiskey, it's not as nice. It can be too intense. The flavors can be a bit too overpowering, but this is an exceptional cask strength whiskey. So on the palate. Delicious. It's delicious. There's no way around this. Straight away, you know it's pot still whiskey. It has that lovely, creamy, melt-coating, oily texture that you get from Irish pot still whiskey. 
it's like a big spoonful of honey straight away. Then you get the cinnamon and nutmeg. Then it's a fig and it's a fruit cake. And then it's that lovely kind of woody note on the back of the palate. And it just lingers for days with sweetness. Uh, it's a beautiful, intense, strong whiskey. It's, so, it's definitely one that you would sip, take your time with, maybe spend an hour with the whiskey, just nosing and tasting it. But it is so good, guys. I can't recommend this to you enough to if you're a big bourbon fan, or if you like big, intense, bold whiskies, you will definitely love this. I've heard some people say this would convert you to Irish whiskey from most any whiskey in the world. Um, it is that good red breast cast strength. I, I can't recommend this enough. Get yourselves a bottle of this if you can. This was a Christmas present, uh, and uh, I'm over the moon that I got it. And I'm opening it on Christmas Eve and having a little taste, and I have to say I'm really, really enjoying it. But yeah, it's fruitcake, it's Christmas cake, it's raisins and figs and honey and nutmeg and cinnamon but really really intense and the first thing you notice on the palate it is as if you just swallowed a spoon of honey you get that lovely sweet honeyness and all the flavors are really there they're really pronounced in this if you're struggling to pull uh, certain flavors out of whiskey try this you will get all the flavors but bear in mind it is 55.8 percent so if you're not used to drinking whiskey you might feel a bit of a punch from the ethanol but for me it's lovely and smooth you get a bit of heat into the lungs into the chest from it but that's about it other than that there's no real alcohol burn it's absolutely fantastic yeah it's just christmas cake and deep fruits all day a big spoonful of honey and then comes the fruits and then rush in with the cinnamon and nutmeg and that lovely deep oaky barrel flavor that's absolutely fantastic this is a real uh, powerful whiskey guys and it is absolutely delicious it's perfect for this time of the year and it just happens to be christmas and that is christmas in a bottle turned up to 11 very very nice indeed so I'm going to leave it on its side now, the little bit that's left in the glass. I don't want to waste too much of this. This is one that I want to keep for a while. So we leave that little bit open up, see if we can pull anything from it. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it for 10 minutes like we always do. Okay, so now that we've let it sit on its side for about 10 minutes, let's see what else we can pull out of this whiskey. So uh, we'll just coat the edge of the glass and let's see what we get. Okay, so now the sweetness has softened slightly. And it's a nice barley note and that woody note is there it's kind of to the forefront it's it's the big dominant character i can get it's a lovely kind of sweet oak and when you cut into american oak it does have a kind of a sweet smell on it so you know when i'm chopping it on the miter saw here in the workshop you do get a lovely smell and i can definitely pick that up it's definitely there it's a big kind of wood it's almost it's that smell i don't know if you've ever walked into it like a really old old workshop a woodworking shop and you get that beautiful kind of wood smell but it's it's a smell of a deep kind of old time wood that's what you get from this and then you have the sherry with the figs and the sultanas the fruit cake note sweet honey nutmeg and cinnamon all the spices are there in fact what do they call it on the bottle they say a conicopia of dried fruit and lively spice and you do get that lovely pot still spice that you get from pot still whiskey it is all in there it says butterscotch and a barley finish now for me i get much more honey than butterscotch it's uh, much more dried fruits. I can definitely get the spices and the, the deep dark fruits and that lovely woody tone. It's absolutely fantastic. And on the palate. So yeah, on the palate. Now I can pick up a bit of barley. But it is as if you put a spoon of honey in your mouth. It is lovely sweetness. And then comes the sherry notes with, the, like I said, with the dried fruits and the figs and all that good stuff. And finishing now with that lovely barley and wood deep deep woody note and then you have just a lovely sweetness that just sits on your tongue for hours you can taste this whiskey for hours it just lasts it lingers there's no burn from it it's 55.8 percent and it's amazing how higher abv whiskies don't burn then you can get a 40 abv whiskey and it just burns the throat off especially uh, kind of the cheaper grain whiskies they have a real kind of harsh peppery note to them that's like i say it's 55.8 percent abv and you wouldn't even know it and it is just delicious and i always find when you leave the glass empty for a little while with a red breast or any of the pot still whiskies you will get a big nose full of nutmeg from the glass it is quite delicious yeah that's definitely one guys i would highly highly recommend this 
I know it's 90 euros a bottle, but treat yourself, especially around Christmas time, maybe for, for a birthday or something like that. You could treat yourself to a bottle of this. Keep it for yourself. This one's not for sharing. This one is all for you. And uh, like I say, you will really, really enjoy this. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Okay guys, there we go. That has been my review of Red Breast Cask Strength. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Like I say, as you can tell by the video, this comes highly recommended. If you want to get into Irish whiskey, you want to try Irish whiskey for the first time, I recommend you get yourself Red Breast 12, this one here, six euros a bottle. That's an absolutely fantastic pure pot still Irish whiskey. And pure pot still whiskey is the signature Irish whiskey. That is kind of uh, Ireland's quintessential whiskey for all the world. And if you really like your whiskey and you really want to get into Irish whiskey, get yourself a bottle of red breast cask strength i would challenge anybody in the world not to like this and anybody that i've recommended this to have absolutely loved it i've yet to hear somebody say that they didn't like red breast 12 and this op often comes in the top 10 it's usually number one or number two whiskies in the world when you see all the whiskey reviewers on youtube red breast is always up there and red breast cast strength is red breast 12 just turned up to 11 as they say so yeah let's get this in the glass is there anything i forgot to mention well it is a 12 year old it is written on the bottle that it is uh, age 12 years um so the minimum a uh, barrel that's in this will be 12 years old and uh, like I say, pure pot still Irish whiskey, absolutely lovely, bottled at 58.58% and uh, quite nice indeed. So we put a little dribble in the glass because I don't want to waste this one like I've said. But uh, yeah, there we go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. Now, it is Christmas time and the world at the minute still is kind of crazy. So there's an old Irish saying, it's not really a toast, but it's a saying that I love to say and it goes like this, everything will be all right in the end. And if it's not all right, well then it's not the end, so don't worry. That's it for guys, so I shall see you in the next one. If it is Christmas time when you're watching this, have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. And uh, yeah, slain cha take it easy, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. One to be sipped, one to be savoured. Yeah, that's a special whiskey, very, very nice indeed. If you want to get into Irish whiskey, red breast castrant. <laughs>